most important parts of the East Texas Food Bank's distribution is their focus on fresh food. One way they do that is through their garden along Highway 155 in the Noonday area. And as KLTV 7's Christine Guevara reports, the people who tend to this garden are inmates at the Smith County Jail. A seven acre garden maintained by Smith County Jail inmates. <laughs> Harvesting fresh produce for East Texans in need. It gives them a, a feeling of self-worth. It lets them get out of the hot jail cell and move around and exercise. A lot of these people, uh, they would do anything to get out of the cell and come out here and work. The garden has been around for over 15 years with a variety of vegetables. The East Texas Food Bank says this produce is critical for them as they work to end the meal gap in East Texas. But it takes a community effort. Well, this is a huge impact. We get a few truckloads of uh, fresh produce from you know these gardens every year. And it's not only what we get, it's what we give back to those uh, trustees and the sheriff's department. A detention officer tells us these inmates have been out here almost every day in the summer heat. And today, they dug up several potatoes from the ground. We spoke with Gilbert Mitchell, who has volunteered in the garden for three and a half years. It's good to come out because it, it gets you ready to come back into society. Definitely. That's the thing about it. And it helped me a lot. Because I, now I can go back and instead of me going out and doing what I was doing, I ain't going to be doing that no more. <laughs> so it, it's, it, it helped. Christine Guevara, KLTV 7 News. And the East Texas Food Bank says they hope to eventually get around 160,000 pounds of produce from this garden.